you can see, it's been a while since we did the old uh, Crazy Talk 8 uh, webinar. Um, we're going to be talking about how to create uh, 2D actors and 3D actors uh, in Crazy Talk 8 and how to uh, animate them uh, using different uh, various methods. Also, uh, eye and teeth customization. This is basically the outline right here. So it's been a long time. Uh, this is a webinar uh, for beginners, okay? So if you're looking for more advanced stuff, maybe a little bit slow, uh, slow going for you, but uh, for beginners, um, well, hopefully you learn a lot uh, from this webinar in regards to how Crazy Talk 8 can work for you um, and what you can do with it and how to customize and create your own characters. Okay, so uh, yeah, like I mentioned, my name's Kai. I'm gonna be the host of this webinar for you guys. And you recognize me from a lot of the tutorial videos. Um, and uh, just a little bit about the webinar here. We are using the Zoom uh, webinar uh, uh, template here. Uh, and we're going to be basically talking about, um, we're gonna have a QA and a session at the very end of this webinar here. So the last 10 or 15 minutes or so, um, if you have any questions, please put those questions in the Q&A section of your, Go, uh, of your Zoom panel there. Uh, we're going to be getting to, getting to those after the end of the demo here. So I'm going to be doing a live demo, just creating a couple of heads and uh, showing you how to, how to customize them in, in Photoshop and other ways. And then we're going to go from there. Um, okay. And as always, we're going to be sending out a survey for you guys. So if you have any uh, comments, um, feedback that you uh, want to give us, uh, please fill out that survey. We'll give you a 10% discount from the content store uh, for any content you want to purchase from the content store. We're going to talk about uh, that in just a moment here. And uh, that's about it. So uh, we're not going to prob probably not going to be using the chat window um, in this webinar. So um, please put all your questions in the Q&A uh, panel there at any, at any time. Uh, if any questions pop up in your head, just uh, throw them in there and we'll get to those at the very end. And they don't necessarily have to be Crazy Talk 8 related. They can be related to other Relusion software as well. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, we are live streaming this on, uh, on uh, YouTube as well. Okay. Um, so and we're going to be sending out a recording uh, of this webinar uh, at the end here. Uh, we're going to email you a recording of this webinar. So if, we, if I skip it through anything or go through anything too fast, you can always review it on your own time. Uh, no worries. Okay, so <clears throat> let's get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is uh, the content from the content store. Um, so if you go to, uh, I'll throw this URL in the chat window actually. Um, this is the uh, URL for the content store. Hopefully all you guys know where to find the content store, but uh, if you don't, I'm just going to post the URL here for the uh, content store. And this is where you can purchase all sorts of content uh, for all the various programs that Reillusion has, Character Creator, iPhone, Crazy Talk, and Cartoon Animator. Um, in this webinar, we're dealing with Crazy Talk. So lots of cool stuff here. Um, lots of cool uh, like animations you can get, 3D actors, uh, all sorts of other stuff. I recommend checking out this, uh, this page if you're interested in purchasing any content, anything you can use to customize your character. Uh, lots, of, lots of stuff like you know, different hair types, different clothing types, different face, skin, all that stuff. Okay? You can find it all in here. Um, so if you're a teacher or something, you want to give your students something to uh, you know, a better way to customize their, uh, their characters, then please feel free to uh, visit the content store and check out this stuff here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off in Crazy Talk. So let's go ahead and close down uh, Google Chrome now. And you can see we have a cool looking uh, Samuel L. Jackson character here. Let's go ahead and play him back. Mm. Essentially, this is what we're going to be recreating at the end of this webinar, okay? So we're gonna be customizing the, uh, the skin of the character adding some various accessories and clothing and making them look uh, like more like a tune style. Okay, so let's get started on the meat and potatoes of the demo here. Uh, we don't need to worry too much about everything else. I'm just gonna go ahead and start a new project, okay? At the very top left there, you can uh, select new project or press control N for the hotkey. And we're gonna start off with the 2D head. Now I'm not gonna spend too much time on the 2D head. Um, we're gonna focus a little bit more on the 3D head uh, because those are the heads you can export um, to iClone and, and uh, other stuff as well. We'll talk about that in, uh, at the very end. So if you want to create a new actor, just go up here on the, on the toolbar and create new actor. Okay, pretty simple stuff. And like I mentioned, we're going to start with a 2D actor type. Okay, so I'm going to go into the 2D folder here. Now we have a couple of uh, um, uh, pictures here. Now I want to show you the original uh, picture. Um, I'm just going to preview this one here. This is a picture I took from wilsonsketchblog.blogspot.com. Let's actually go to that URL here. Wilson's, there you go, are you up there? I'll post this uh, URL in the chat window because there's a lot of cool um, uh, caricatures here of different uh, celebrities that uh, are put up here. 
um, such as like Chris Rock here, for example. Now, some of these are going to be very hard to use um, because this one you can't really use it unless you modify the mouth because the mouth has to be straight uh, and closed. And I'll show you what I mean in just a moment here. Okay, but I'm just going to paste this uh, URL into the chat window if you want to take a look at it on your own time. Uh, okay. And uh, yeah, there's like stuff like, uh, and of course, it has to be front facing as well. We'll talk about all this stuff in just a moment. So let's close that down now. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up uh, this uh, picture right here. Now, I did modify this picture in Photoshop myself. And the, the reason I modified it is because if you look at the lips here, the lips are a little bit curved. And the curved lips like this can create a problem uh, when you import into Crazy Talk 8. Okay, so uh, generally what you want to do is you want to have lips that are straight across, okay, straight across in a straight line, a very, very neutral expression. Also, ideally, you want your eyeballs or the eye the eye facing directly forward, not off to the side like this. Okay. So what I did is I just kind of fixed this a little bit, uh, fixed mouth. Uh, you can see here, I just did some little Photoshop through there and I just made the mouth like a straight line. And this is going to make it easier for us to get the best results in uh, crazy or cartoon or uh, <laughs> crazy talk eight here. Okay. All right. I've been doing too many cartoon animator uh, tutorials recently. So I got that, got that on the brain. Okay. So I'm going to load up this fixed mouth here. Okay. Now, the first, uh, the first window that pops up here, this is just image processing. You know, you can crop stuff, uh, you can rotate, okay? All these tools on the top, you can mirror, you can use smart lever or smart level to kind of just uh, adjust the level, uh, the color level for your character. Um, color balance, you can use all these things. Um, you know, uh, sometimes it's, it works, sometimes it looks good, sometimes it doesn't. It really depends on you. Uh, this one here uh, is basically reset all the changes that you made. Okay, and you can pan around, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, all the basic stuff, okay, up here on the toolbar. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on that. Um, what I might wanna do is in this case, I'll just, you know, uh, uh, crop out the wilsonsketchblog.com uh, URL there at the bottom. So I'll just use this crop tool here, and I'm just gonna click and drag at the very top here. And we're just gonna kinda maybe go down to about there, and then we can select apply. Okay, so we just cropped it out. So now we have a nice, uh, we can focus on the character's face a bit more. Okay, so let's go over to next. Um, so next, these are the basic uh, anchor fit points, okay? Now this one's very simple. Uh, you can scroll your mouse wheel to zoom in, uh, scroll it to zoom out as well, okay? I'm just gonna place these at the corners of the eyes. Essentially, all you have to do is follow the reference image here on the left, okay? And I'm just gonna put these all at the corners and the corners of the mouth, just like so, okay? Nothing too complicated here. Uh, and again, any questions, if you miss anything, feel free to put it in the Q&A panel. I'll go back and uh, explain things a bit further. Okay, so I just press next there. And this is the face fitting editor. So this is the basic face fitting editor. Okay, if you look up here at the top, there is the basic and detailed. We'll start, we'll start with the basic first. Uh, so what you wanna do is you wanna get the, this one here to kind of, basically you want all the material you're gonna be using for your face to be within the blue border here, okay? Um, so we're just going to take this out. Um, this one's going to be actually for the shape of the head. We'll talk about the ears in just a moment here, just like so. And uh, we'll place this one down here. Again, this step is, doesn't need to be too detailed. Um, we just want to get a, a very basic outline of you know, where the character's facial features are going to be. Uh, let me bring it up like this a bit more. Okay, and uh, zoom in a little bit here. Now the nose, you want to put, uh, this guy has a kind of a crazy nose. So you want to put uh, one of these nose points at the very uh, left of the nose. It's a really wide, exaggerated nose here. Uh, and this one goes over here, okay? So at the very uh, edges of the nostrils, basically. And for the eyebrows, okay, just put the eyebrows according to where they are on the, on the image. And, uh, you know, basic stuff right here. Um, you can just kind of follow along and the eyes need to be in position as well. So what you want to do for the eyes is kind of make it so that the uh, the blue outline there is surrounding the whites of your eyes. It's kind of going along the eyelid here, okay? Just like I'm doing right here. Now, if you get the little inside part of the eye there in there, that's fine, okay? We're gonna be replacing the eyes later anyways, okay? Um, so I think uh, I'm good with that. Uh, again, just the basic one, and then we'll go into the detailed settings here. Okay, we're gonna do this a couple times, so I'm not gonna spend and uh, too much time trying to explain everything here. Um, yeah, and just put these all into position here. Uh, I think the chin is fairly good. 
Now this, um, you notice now on the uh, detailed version, on the detailed mode here, we have a second kind of outline, um, blue outline on top of the on top of the initial one that we had before. And this is for characters with like hair. Okay, <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to put all your hair or hats or whatever they are in inside this uh, second uh, blue outline, the one that's highlighted right here. Okay, anything that has like hair or hats, you put it inside this uh, outline. The character's face goes around this outline. Okay. So this kind of places into position and make sure to go around the ear there. Just like this. It's pretty self-explanatory, this part. Again, I don't want to spend too much time because it, uh, you know, there's, there's a few tips and tricks I can give you along the way. And we'll talk about those when we get to the 3D head. So I just want to show you the possibility of the 2D head and the difference between the 2D head and the 3D head as well. Okay, uh, so let's just place these. Again, this is probably the most monotonous part of, of the whole process, uh, placing your fitting points here. Um, just make sure that, again, wherever you, say for example, you wanted your character to have bigger eyes and you're gonna be replacing the eyes later anyways, you can actually just have these outlines bigger than the actual eye. Like you can make the outline larger. And if you're gonna replace the eye anyways, it doesn't really matter because it's, it's just gonna use different material from the crazy talk library. Okay, and I'll talk about that in a moment as well. So this one here, that goes on the point of the nose here, just like so. And we can uh, take the lips down here as well. Just like this. And I think we're good to go. Okay, again, not too much detail on this part here. You want to get the, make sure that the, the curvature of your head is good so you can move these points up and down um, according to the curvature that you want. And don't worry about this part here, okay? Um, just make sure that you have the curvature kind of set. And uh, then we'll go on to the next step. Uh, you can go ahead and, you know, select, uh, test your mouth open and stuff like that if you want, like by pressing this. Okay. Um, should be opening, but uh, it's lagging or something. Um, you can also test your character out here. So you can test out like head rotation, facial expressions, like mouth, for example. A. E. I. Now keep in mind, he doesn't have oh, teeth yet. Oh, you. Okay. And meow. It's kind of a trip watching uh, Samuel L. Jackson's face uh, with a woman's voice. <laughs> anyways, uh, you can also do the eye stuff here. We're not going to worry too much about that. Eyeballs, we're going to replace them anyways. Facial expressions. Uh, you can test these on your own time. I'm not going to be too worried about this. There's also the mirror option, which I recommend not using unless your character is completely symmetrical then you can use the mirror option up there, okay? Let's go to the next step here. And the next step is just your uh, face orientation. So generally your character should be facing, you know, 90 degrees, facing directly towards the camera, directly towards your view. And uh, if, you, if your character is facing slightly to the side, you can move this a little bit to the side like this, okay? But generally you just wanna keep it straight uh, on the character like this. And you can, uh, you can select uh, different face profiles here as well, like rounded face, a short snout, like a long snout. These are used for like dogs and stuff like that. Um, maybe this one rounded face is used for kind of like pandas or something. Machine for robots. It's Cyrano de Bergerac long nose. Okay, and this one has a big chin. It really depends on which features you want to emphasize. Okay, so it's going to create kind of a crazy talk. It is going to create uh, sort of a simulation of these uh, like a big chin or a long nose from the uh, from the texture that it's given. And you can also increase the strength as well. Yeah, I'm not going to go into too much detail on this. We'll just go ahead and press OK. I want to focus on other things uh, in this tutorial. Okay, you can see here that now we have our character. And we can go ahead and, uh, you know, um, up here to go to Face Puppet. Okay, and we can preview and press the space key. There you go. Okay, so this is what it looks like the 2D head. Now, again, the eyes. Um, uh, ideally, what you'd want to do is replace the eyes. Okay. Um, but because basically what it's using, it's using all the materials from the eyes. So when they go down like this, it looks like he has kind of two eye, two eyelids. Okay. Um, it really depends on how you animate it. But uh, also notice that the background here is kind of messed up on the top there. And what you want to do to get that background out of there is you want to mask it out. Okay. So you want to go up here to mask editing at the very top on the toolbar there. Okay. Where my mouse is, in case you didn't see that. And uh, it's currently into auto mode. Okay. You can see that we uh, have the um, active brush selected. Okay, we can use background blood, uh, brush as well. 
So background uh, brush is defining what's in the background. Get out of here. Um, so uh, let's zoom in here on our character real quick. And you can see that, uh, okay, it's fairly good, except there's part of the outline here that uh, the, the black outline on the character that's kind of a little bit, uh, uh, it's masked out as part of the background. So what I want to do here is let's take that brush size down a little bit and just kind of click right here and click and drag. And you can see what that did is that kind of added it to the background because we're using the background uh, brush right now. I'm going to control Z and undo that. Or I'm just going to go ahead and uh, reset it first. Okay. And uh, when I reset, you can see now we have that uh, black um, border enabled. Uh, some parts may not show up like, like uh, for example, if you wanted to, uh, you know, um, show this part up, for example, uh, you can use the character brush, actor brush rather. Okay. And let's just change that brush size a little bit. You can blur the edge a little bit more as well to get a more feathered effect. And you would add this to your character. So you can see now it's in, in green. And what would happen is it would add that section there to our face. Uh, we don't want to do that. Okay. So again, just go to the background, background brush and increase the brush size and, uh, Generally, the automatic mode here will catch most of it, and I think we're uh, pretty happy with what we have right here. Okay, we masked out the suit, so we don't really need the suit. And uh, if we were to you know put it on a separate character's body or something or whatever, um, let's actually include the suit in this. So I'm going to go ahead and brush around here, just like this, and uh, just like that should be okay. And that should capture most of the suit. Okay, there you go. And uh, didn't get this part here. Uh, a little bit around the uh, edges there, but uh, again, you know, generally in auto mode here. Let's just pan over here. In auto mode, it should capture most of this stuff. And again, we're using the uh, the edge blur, which we probably shouldn't have used since we don't really need to blur any edges in this case. Uh, was it three before? Maybe it's just something like this. Where that catches the edge there. All right. Well, you get the point. Anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, press OK. And there you go. Background's all, except for this little area that we messed up there with the blur. Um, everything's OK. And this is going to be your character. And then you can, you know, modify this character however you want. Um, this is the traditional way that we've done uh, crazy talk since, since the very beginning. Okay, um, but what I like to kind of uh, show you here is Crazy Talk 8's uh, 3D head. Okay, uh, this is a much more advanced and uh, kind of more flexible um, type of character head. Uh, we can save it out as an RL head, and I'll show, I'll talk about that later and export to uh, to iClone. Uh, so let's go ahead and start a new project and just do the same thing. Okay. We're going to run through the same process, except now we're going to choose 3D head. So let's go ahead and create a new actor, and I'm going to select uh, 3D head here. Okay. Just like so. And now you can see it shows us a good example of the image that you want to use for, uh, to create a 3D head, uh, side facing and front facing images. Again, uh, 90 and 45 degrees or whatever you want to call it, zero and 90 degrees. Uh, and then bad examples obviously do not occlude your face with any sort of uh, hands or objects. Don't, don't be smiling or showing your teeth. And don't be looking to the side. Generally, you also don't want to have shadows on your on your face as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is you can import front image. Okay, um, you can click anywhere really to import that image. And I'm going to import our Samuel L. Jackson character, same one. Okay, with the fixed mouth, of course. Okay, just like this. Uh, we're not going to be using a side image in this case, but you can if you have the side image. You can use a side image, and it it, it generates a bit more of a accurate result on the side of the head. I'll we'll talk about that in just a moment here. Okay, I'm going to go to the next step here, and this is where you mark all the feature points. So this one's a little bit different. Okay, this one you need to take a look at the reference image on the left, and it'll show you where you where, where to place those points. So this one here is on the right eye, the character's right eye on the very edge. Just click over there. Okay, and basically you just want to follow these points. Okay, on the image here. Now it's on the inside of the character's right eye. Okay, and over here, and over here, and then right on the tip of the nose. Okay. So target point here, nose tip. Make sure you read these, nose tip. Okay, place it right in the middle, smack dab in the middle of the nose. And then right corner of the mouth, okay, right here. And middle, center of the mouth. 
and on the left side on both. Okay, and this one you want to kind of generally put it uh, where the inner part of the ear connects with the uh, the cheekbone. Okay, uh, so generally right around here, okay, on the top of the cheekbone, right on the top. And this one is kind of at the, the right edge of the jaw, you can see. Okay, so this one has a jaw edge kind of right here. And then and center down here. Uh, let's just kind of place it right there. And side of the left jaw. And right up here again, whoops. Again, this is always the, the fun, funnest part of the whole, uh, the whole demo. Uh, let's go to the top here. And this one here, top of the skull. So uh, this, is, this character doesn't have any hair, so generally top of the skull is just gonna be right here, okay? If they have hair that pops up, what you wanna do is you're going to uh, you know, place it not all the way up on top of the hair. You gotta place it uh, midway down, okay? Like on the image here on the left. Okay, let's go to the next step. Bada bing, bada boom. And this is going to give us our 3D face profile. Okay, so you can see here, we can rotate our character's head. This is our 3D head. Now the nose here is a bit messed up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to a previous step here. I think we need to uh, modify the nose slightly, but uh, we'll probably do that in the next step here. Let me set all the... Uh, it's been ages since I've used Crazy Talk, and I think, yeah, there's another step here that we can adjust the nose. You can see the nose is still a little bit wacky, okay? And let's go to the side here and take a look if we use these different uh, facial profiles. So again, you know, stereotypical facial profiles. This one has a big nose. You want him to have a big nose. Um, African uh, profile here, uh, more Asian profile, okay? You have short chin, wide chin. It really depends on if you want to modify Samuel L. Jackson to uh, whatever sort of... Uh, you know, profile you want. Um, there's also female profiles here as well. So you have a female character. Um, there's female ones for all these different ones as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna choose the African profile since probably it's the most accurate one for this particular character. And we'll go to the next step. Okay, so this is the one where we kind of define uh, the point uh, like, like we did in the 2D image. Again, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. Um, the, the main point I can give you here is don't really pay, I mean, these blue outlines here um, are used for your reference, but what you want to go by is you want to go by the results on the, on the right side here, okay? It's very important to go by the results on the right rather than, you know, where you think these, these things go on, on the left, okay? So generally, um, these four points will go around the iris, okay? So you kind of have a square and your iris should be in the middle of that square. Um, in this case, we're going to be replacing the eyes again. So no worries about that. And I'll show you how to replace those eyes in a moment. And kind of put everything, everything in its right place. Okay. Um, and then from the right eye, we're going to go to the left eye, do the same thing. Okay. And again, don't worry about where the iris is in this case. Just make sure that your outline is correct on the eye. I'll just bring this over here. And I think we're good. Just make sure that uh, there's no white on the outside of your, your of your border. Very important because it'll look weird if there's white up on the outside of your eyes. Uh, let's just go ahead and the eyebrow, put in place. Okay. And nose. Now, so nose on this character is going to be the most tricky part, and because uh, his his nose is so exa exaggerated here. Um, what I can tell you is that these this one here, these curves right here, these curve around the nostrils of the character, okay? Um, so I'm gonna just basically, oops, not click the whole thing. Let's place that back where it's supposed to be. Uh, click this uh, little point here, moving it way out here. Okay, generally you just want this uh, shaded area here to cover your, your character's nose material, okay? So just something like this. Place this at the base of the nostril. This one goes over here, okay? And this one goes generally, it's gonna go over here. Okay, so it's really stretching out his nose now. Okay, and then you can see, there you go, not too bad. Um, this one can probably come down a little bit. Okay, what you wanna try and do is get those, the lines of the character's nose in the right place. Okay, uh, so again, same thing over here. Let's just stretch that out and stretch it down. And this point is gonna go here. And there we go. Okay, and probably this point can come down a little bit as well. Okay. There you go. Okay, so that's looking okay. And there's our character's nose. 
I think we're, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, now what you can do is if you want to like, you know, uh, exaggerate the nose, let's just uh, pan over around here a sec. Get over here. Um, by the way, uh, very important hotkeys here. X is for panning. Okay, so um, what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm uh, rotating my camera. So C is for rotating like this and X is for panning, okay? So I press X, I'm panning like this. C, I'm rotating like this, okay? Very important. So this, these highlighted areas here, I can like, you know, bring them up or bring them down like that. Uh, I can make them wider or, or more narrow, okay? And this area can do the same thing. I can make it have like a really bulbous nose or a really thin nose, okay? Generally, you don't wanna mess around with this too much. Just try and keep, you know, the, the general uh, nose that your character is, is, is given, okay? And I think that uh, I'm happy with this, with this nose right here. Look at, there we go. Not too bad. Okay, so what we're gonna do from now is move on to the mouth, okay? The mouth is pretty easy on this character. For some reason, it shifted all the way up like that. Place it down here. Make sure that that's a, uh, you can kind of see the divider there on the lips and make sure that's uh, whoops. Move all the points up in a straight line, just like so. Nothing too complicated here, I hope. Okay, and the lips can kind of follow the outline of our character's lips here as well. I don't want to spend too much time on this stuff because this is the, not really the most exciting stuff in the world, uh, the face fitting. All right, so back to the face here and the face. Um, with this character, uh, uh, the ears, you know, we can keep the ears like this. Um, what happens with the ears is if you stretch the ears out like this, if you move this outline over here, it'll just kind of bring your entire character's head out just like that, okay? So, I mean, this particular character, I wouldn't, wouldn't want to do that, that really, I think. I want to keep the, uh, you can see it brings the entire head out as well, as well as the ears. You can bring individual parts out like this as well of the ears. I'm just going to like kind of just keep those ears the way they are. Now his head is kind of bothering me, so I'm gonna pan up here. He looks like he has kind of an egg head. So I'm gonna kind of stretch this out like this. We're gonna bring it down, okay, just like this. And I'm gonna make it a bit uh, wider looking. Okay, just like the Samuel L. Jackson on the, on the image to the left. Um, not too big. Again, we don't make him look like an alien, but I think, uh, and you can make your forehead larger or smaller like this as well. You can look like he has a big brain or kind of a dented head. All right, let's kind of keep it in the happy middle, middle here somewhere. All right, and I'll just uh, bring this in slightly as well. So again, you can, you can see the blue, the blue uh, reference points here, they're way off, but the result on the right is uh, what I'm looking for. These reference points are only to tell uh, Crazy Talk 8 what the material, how much material you want, you want to use from the image, okay? And I think we'll just go with this. All right. I'm going to keep those uh, um, ears where they are. The cheeks, we can bring out like this as well, okay? You can make them gaunt or stick out a bit more. The chin, same thing. You can make the chin larger or thinner like this. Now, I'm going to address this. Uh, if we look at the character from the side, I'm going to address this kind of little uh, issue right here with the chin. So what you want to do is this stuff you want to bring, again, bring those points in a bit further because what they're doing is they're, they're collecting some of the neck material and they're using that neck materials as well. So you want to bring these points in like this, okay, just like this. And you're going to see it's using less of the uh, material on the side, okay? So now we've kind of uh, fixed that issue right there, All right? And that's what we want to do for the other side as well, just like this and this and this. There you go. Now, again, maybe look a little bit too small, so you can kind of widen that chin a little bit. And if this area is kind of a little too you know, thin for you, you can bring that out a little bit. There's a bit of forgiveness on, on this side here. And I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with, uh, with this result right here, okay? We're gonna work with that. We're gonna talk about how to adjust the, uh, the uh, material a little bit later on here. Just trying to get uh, that in there. There you go. And when we're using the side face, uh, I'll talk more about that. Okay, so you can calibrate the mouth and the eyes. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Let's go directly to the side fitting, okay? Because we're almost halfway through here and I want to just, uh, the side fitting I'm not going to worry too much about. Again, you can uh, adjust the, uh, the points to wherever you want. Um, again, the blue uh, reference points here may not be entirely accurate, okay? Just take a look at the results on the, uh, the right-hand side when you do move these points, okay? And how they respond. Um, the nose, 
Again, we can bring the nose out a little bit more, right down like this, and make this front part uh, up or down. We can bring this point in or out like this a bit more. Uh, you know, nostril can come in, come back in like this. Um, generally, I find that the more you mess around with it, sometimes you get yourself in trouble, and uh, you can't uh, you can't fix things in the end. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to try and uh, get a fairly nice nose with this one. And then to the mouth, same thing. Okay, I'm not even going to mess around with the mouth or the face because I think I'm pretty happy with uh, with what we have so far. Okay, so let's go back to uh, all here. I got to get my Zoom webinar panel out of the way here. And we're going to talk about uh, the next one, which is texture blending. Okay, this is the important one. Okay, so texture blending, there's three different blend types here on the top. This one here is blend type one, and this uses most of the automatically generated texture you can see on the side of the character's head. So this is automatically ge uh, generated by Crazy Talk 8, this texture right here. Uh, if we make a little bit more uh, blend type two, it's going to use more of the original image, which in this case we generally don't want because it's kind of trying to take part of the background. Now you can see the purple there. And that's, that, that's kind of using material from the background. And blend type three would be using, using even more. Uh, generally, you don't want to do this unless you have a side facing image as well. Okay, so if you only have a front facing image, use blend type one. Okay, and you can also adjust the skin color. So if you use your uh, color picker tool here, you can color pick and you know, pick like, uh, you know, this color, for example, or this darker one. Okay, you can see it's kind of just creating a more overall lighter or darker uh, look on your character's entire face. Okay, let's go from like this kind of angle right here. This one lighter, this one darker. You can even do like a pink one if you want. Okay, and that looks really weird. So I'm just gonna go and keep it with the light, uh, light one here. And uh, what we wanna do is you can also change the roughness of the pore size. Again, this character is very cartoonish, so we don't wanna make it realistic looking. We kinda wanna make it, uh, we wanna take the pore size down to the minimum amount, okay? To make it look as smooth as possible. And strength, just take that down. Um, skin roughness, we don't even need skin roughness. Okay, and just disable it and uh, it'll have a very smooth kind of look. And I'm gonna talk about how to uh, adjust this later on. And in detailed, mor uh, detailed morph, okay, uh, here's where you can kind of, you know, have fun with your character's facial features if you want, okay? Um, you, you can you know, go to the nose, for example. Uh, nose bridge width, okay, you can adjust this right here, okay? So this is morphing your character's facial features. Um, you can make your nose protrude more if you want. So nose protrude. Like that, okay, you get a bump on the nose there. A uh, nose tip bulge, okay. Um, nose tip flat, um, nose tip height, bring it up or down. And you know, you can go wild with this. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this myself just because I think there's more important uh, and funner things to take a look at, you know, cheeks, cheekbone height, and so on and so forth, okay. You can go wild experimenting with all these morphs on your own time. You can really get into the customization a lot there. Okay, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm done with the 3D head, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it. Okay, and once we've applied, we're gonna go and move on to uh, customization of the skin using Photoshop as well as uh, you know, other things. Let's give this guy some, some clothing here. Uh, what we can do is go over here to uh, actor elements and we can go to body and I'll just throw some, uh, I don't know, what should we give him? A male blazer. Let's make him look uh, decent. A nice uh, male blazer outfit here. Okay, so this is just gonna give him like, <laughs> looks like a retro 1970s uh, uh, shirt there. Okay, but uh, here's our character. And if we play back, you can see the default uh, actions here. And again, looking not bad, but again, I wanna replace the eyes and I wanna replace the teeth. Okay, so that's the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the eyes and teeth. And to replace the eyes, you can go up here to eye settings, okay? Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to actor elements here and we're going to select eyes. Now there's various types of eyes on your character. Um, there's like human eyes, for example, this character, we're not going to make him realistic looking. So if we gave him like blue human eyes, for example, it might look a little bit uh, strange. Um, there's like light brown, for example. This character is more of a cartoonish character. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to eyes. And we're going to go into, uh, you can use anime eyes or comic eyes. I'm going to choose and give him some anime eyes here. Let's just use anime 04 here, okay? You can see that those look a bit more high contrast, similar to the high contrast shadows on his face, okay? 
um, anime one here as well. That might be a little bit browner. I think I like anime four for this particular guy. Okay, so the, the eyes are fine. Let's take a look at the teeth. So for teeth, we can go over to uh, actor elements again. And there's teeth right here. So we'll throw in teeth. Now there's comic teeth, which I think we're probably going to use in this case. Okay, there you go. Again, you can use these uh, missing his two front teeth if he's like a hockey player or something. Uh, there's decayed teeth, all sorts of funny different types of teeth you can use. I'm just going to use the comic teeth for this character. Okay, give him some nice bright white teeth. Okay, and then you can test it out by using a uh, face puppet again. And let's just uh, preview and press the space key. Okay, and then you can move your character's eyes around. If you click your mouse button, you'll, you can have your character blink. Okay, click the left mouse button, has your character blink. We can use like an angry profile here as well. Uh, preview that. There you go, looking angry. Okay, uh, good times. You can also puppet individual facial features, but if we have more time later on, we'll talk about that and how to animate and stuff. Okay, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with this character. The one thing I want to adjust a little bit is uh, I kind of don't like how it's more of a realistic blend on the side of his head, okay? I want to make it blend more like this, um, you know, uh, uh, cartoon shading um, rather than the uh, realistic shading on the side. Okay, so what I'm going to do in order to uh, remedy that is I'm going to launch my character's uh, um, textures in Photoshop, okay? So we'll go up here to texture settings, okay? And then you can see you have texture settings for the skin body, the skin head, the blazer, and the shirt, okay? Um, you can adjust very simple parameters like the brightness, hue, saturation, and contrast here. Um, I'm gonna only adjust the head right here, okay? So you can see there's a diffuse map. And what you need to do is you need to save that diffuse map out. So let's go ahead and save file. And I'm gonna save it to my desktop and I'll just call it face or maybe skin underscore head underscore diffuse. Okay. It doesn't, re doesn't really name which, uh, doesn't matter what you name it. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, find that on our desktop. There you go. Skin head diffuse. And I'm going to right click on that and we're going to launch it in Photoshop. Now, again, you don't need to have Photoshop for this. You can use uh, GIMP, which is free um, and add a bunch of other software as well. Um, Photoshop is uh, Something that comes as a bonus with the company though, so I use it. <laughs> Don't need to get free stuff. Okay, so some quick editing here that we're going to do. Uh, if, if you're not a Photoshop Pro, don't worry too much about it. Uh, I'm gonna press the V hot key, and we're gonna hold Alt and scroll my mouse wheel to zoom in. And what I wanna do is you can see all the material on the face here, okay? Don't worry about the lips and all that stuff. Uh, that's, it's just the way that uh, Crazy Talk 8 assigns the materials. What I want to do is I want to get more of this where my cursor is, my mouse cursor right now. I want to get more of this type of material and less of this kind of faded uh, rough skin material. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and use my brush tool. Okay, brush right here. And I'll just hold the Alt key and that'll bring up my thumbnail, or not thumbnail, uh, little dropper tool and click here. Okay, and that's going to give me this color and I'll just kind of draw in like this. Okay, just like thusly. And it doesn't really matter how big you go. Again, uh, it really depends on what sort of effect you're going for how, or how, to what extent do you want to, uh, you know, have this kind of material surround your head. Uh, generally, you only need about 20 degrees rotating left or right. So again, just uh, like this and you can, you know, you can blend it into if you want. I was trying to blend, blend it a little bit more. The hardness, we'll just try to take that down. There you go. Ooh, whoops. Went over the eyebrow there. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. So you can, you know, fade it a little bit too if you want. Like this. Oop. And, and then there's like dark parts of the face here as well. So if I alt and click on this dark, darker part right here, let's just uh, draw that in as well. Okay. For this area. Again, um, uh, use the bracket keys to make my paintbrush smaller here. Let's just do something like this. Maybe let's, for this part, let's increase that hardness. Yeah, it's a very uh, high contrast border like this. Okay, and again, you can just make it as, as far as you want over here, blah, 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 blah. Um, okay, so basically the point here is to kind of just avoid uh, the 
realistic material and add as much of the, uh, the nice um, high contrast uh, material that we can. So just like this, again, it'll be a little bit, uh, my eyebrow's gonna be a little bit strange maybe, but uh, I don't have all the time in the world here to mess around with this stuff. So, uh, and then the chin here, again, the outline of the chin, we can just kind of take that out as well. It's just something like this. And, let's get rid of all this nonsense. Okay. So you kind of get the point here, hopefully. Um, I'm gonna show you the result in a moment, um, but we wanna get as much of this as we can. So, okay. And again, don't worry too much about uh, the mouth area and all that stuff. That's covered a little bit later. All right, I think uh, I'm fine with blah, blah, blah. Let's just uh, save this out, okay? So file and save and press okay. And then let's go ahead and load this in to uh, uh, Crazy Talk 8. Okay, so just double click on that diffuse map and on my desktop, I'll find the uh, skinhead diffuse. And now you can see that uh, my character's head there is a lot more uniform in terms of in terms of the style. Okay, so we can see here, just like that, and over here, and maybe closer to the ears, we could uh, have a bit more of a, you know, um, I'm gonna just make sure my head's rotated here. Let's use uh, the face key editor here, and I'm gonna just rotate my head. Oh, that's body, head rotate right here. Okay, and. Let's look at that. Oops. There you go. Can't see, you can see if we rotate to the side like that. Uh, we, you know, we didn't get, uh, it's kind of a messy job, but again, we can uh, patch that up a little bit. Let's go ahead and go back in and do this, uh, modify it again really quick. Photoshop really quick. And let's uh, just throw that a bit more. Okay, so we can just have it go further over here. So when you see something like that, you know, just kind of, Patch her up a little bit like this. And I'm not even gonna mess with the ears because that's a bit more complicated. I'm just really doing a sloppy job here. Apologies for my sloppiness, but uh, not all, one of all the time in the world uh, in this particular webinar to focus on uh, doing the detailed Photoshop. And let's go ahead and uh, you know throw something else in here. Let's go like type in cartoon bandage in Google. And we'll go to images. And let's just change our settings here to uh, advanced search. Uh, you want a transparent PNG. So you want to go to image, uh, type of image, uh, whoops, uh, rather file type, uh, PNG, and advanced search for a cartoon band-aid. So all these are going to be transparent PNGs for the cartoon band-aid. This one's very high resolution. So this one's something that we probably want to use. Okay, I'll just uh, re right click on this one. Uh, it's not loading for some reason. Band-Aid cartoon. Oh, there we go. Let's just uh, let's use this one over here. There we go. Wow. Zoom and jazz. There we go. And let's bring this into our uh, project. Where is it? There we go. Shut up. Just like that. Oh, some problem there. Let's try a different one. It's weird. Um, ba -da -ba -ba. Let's go back to the other one. Or here. Um, where'd the other one go? My original one go. Weird. Okay. This one it is. Hope this one will allow us to import in. You can drag it into Photoshop. Um, weird. Okay. Well, let's try and load in a, a project, anyways. Let's. Uh, I'm just going to go to. Uh, I'm not a project, an image. I'm going to go to a different folder here, just because I want to show you how you can throw in different images as well. Uh, production resources. Uh, or is it here again? Mm, tattoos. We can give him like a nice uh, tattoo, but uh, I used to have a cool Mike Tyson one here as well. I'm not sure where that went. Um, here we have some. Okay, here we go. We have some decals. Uh, tattoo. This one here. 
you can throw on like a cool looking, you know, Mike Tyson tattoo. There we go. Uh, it's like that. Not sure why that was uh, not importing in from Google. But there we go. Let's resize that. There we go. And then press enter. And then we can also throw in like a. Oh, by, by the way, all these images are from a, a, a pack from a character creator pack, okay, uh, called the Essential Learning Resources. Highly recommended to check it out if you have character creator uh, because there's all kinds of stuff in there. Um, there's also, oh, the scars, yeah, right here. So this one right here, for example, we can throw in some of the cut that makes them look kind of badass here. There you go. It can look a bit rough. There we go. Let's save that out. Uh, let's save it as a JPEG. Doesn't really matter if you save it as a JPEG. Yes. Okay. And uh, blah, 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 blah. same texture settings here. Replace that with this one. And now I should have a scar. Okay. So you see, we fixed it right there on the side, and uh, the results are much better. Okay, but uh, that's really about uh, all I want to show you here uh, on customizing your character. And then you can throw in all sorts of stuff like um, accessories onto your character. Um, go over here to actor elements and uh, stuff like uh, you can give him some hair if you want. You can give him some uh, short hair like this. He looks like kind of, a, he looks really retro in this picture or in this, uh, on this character. Uh, there's a party fun pack you can purchase separately as well. Um, Give him like a huge afro, all right? <laughs> I really like this this hairstyle. And this hairstyle bounces around a little bit as well. Um, if we use like an auto motion, for example, let's go over here to the animation and let's use a uh, auto motion here, or let's use a motion clip. And uh, maybe like an angle one here. You can see the afro will kind of bounce around to move from you know, side to side there. Uh, let's, let's use a voice script here. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. okay, so you can see that afro kind of bouncing around, which okay. is pretty cool. I really like that spring effect on the on the afros and stuff. Uh, and again, uh, for actor customization, just go to actor styles here. Um, I've purchased a separate pack from the content store called the uh, Essentials Bundle here. Crazy Talk 8 uh, Essentials Content uh, Bundle. Uh, all right, you can find this in the content store. Uh, Throw in this Afro male style. Okay, so this is going to be replace all his clothing. Okay, keep that in mind and all the accessories as well. So now he's got like a disco style. I'm really putting this uh, Samuel L. Jackson through the grinder here. Uh, and the moose, smell, you can dress him up like a moose. Have all sorts of other fun stuff. So these are, these are all the packs you can purchase from the content store. And again, you can do this with your own image as well. If you want to have fun with it and you know, send a Christmas card or I don't know what kind of card this would be. Probably a Christmas card since he's a, a reindeer. I want to send a men in black card right here. You can, uh, you know, use this suit male outfit right here. We can get out of Samuel L. Jackson as one of the men in black. And now this kind of brings up an important point. Um, when I added this, these sunglasses here, you can see the, the uh, sunglasses, they're kind of a little bit um, into the character's head. And the reason for that is because this character has a fairly prominent brow in this case. So what you want to do is you want to go over here to accessory settings at the very top. And any, accessory set, any accessories that you have, you can see the sunglasses here. You can see we have the option to move, rotate, and scale them, okay? So if we select the sunglasses right here, let's move them on the y-axis forward, okay? And there you go. We can move them forward like this to uh, one, and we can move them you know, up or down on his face as well, and rotate them to whatever direction we want, okay? There you go. Okay, so now we have the Men in Black uh, Samuel L. Jackson. I think that'd be an excellent, yes. excellent movie role for him. Of course, of course. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. And so you can apply any of those uh, those animations to your character um, for facial animation. Again, lots of options. Uh, I'll talk about these. If you guys have any questions about these uh, animation options, um, I can get into I can get into uh, those as well. What I do want to show you though is I want to show you how to. Uh, uh, copy this into uh, or how to save out the RL head, which is a file that can be used applied to uh, iClone characters. So you can send your character to character creator, or send a head rather to character creator. Keep in mind that um, this is a feature with the head that was done with character creator one. 
So the new character creator uh, three characters, they don't support this feature, okay? So you have, you have to use the character creator one characters for this, um, okay, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna load up uh, iClone here in the background. And what I'll do is I'll just save out this, this head. Um, so let's go back to, uh, we can close down uh, Photoshop now since it's just taking up resources. And uh, close down Chrome and uh, here we go, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save out this character's head um, by going over here to export RL head. You can also use the control shift H hotkey, okay? Um, there's also head settings as well, by the way here. Uh, I forgot to mention, you can change the head scale if you wanna scale your head up like this, like that, and give him like a really big head. Okay, you can change the neck, neck length, okay? Give him like a giant giraffe neck or whatever. Um, but generally, I just wanted to let you know you can have fun with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that down and um, save out the RL head. And it's just gonna ask you, only one eye texture will be stored, so it'll be using for the one eye texture for both eyes, doesn't really matter which eye you choose, they're identical. Let's just call this uh, Sam, save it to our desktop. Okay. Now for this feature, you do need the pipeline version, just be aware, okay? Um, I'll give you a URL for the uh, Crazy Talk 8. There's an addition comparison here, okay? Because uh, there's a lot of different different uh, features with different uh, versions, different editions here. Uh, I'm gonna put this URL in the uh, uh, chat window here. Where's my chat window? There we go. If you wanna take a look at the different uh, features that different version or different editions have. Okay, so you can see trial, pipeline, standard, uh, so on and so forth. Okay, so that's saved out. Let's uh, load in our character in iClone here. Let's go over here to actors. And this is the last thing I'll do. And then we'll move on to the uh, Q&A section here as well. Um, just throw in Zane there. I just want to show you that you can create your, your character heads in Crazy Talk 8, and you can import them into, uh, into iClone here if you have both, uh, both programs. All right, load up, buddy. I guess we can get rid of this now. I think uh, Samuel L. Jackson's head looks pretty suitable on this uh, Zane body here because he looks kind of like a like a thug or you know a badass kind of character. Okay, so this is uh this is our boy Zane, and all we gotta do is click and drag that uh, Sam head right here. You can find it on the desktop. Click and drag it onto uh, your character, and it says, "Do you want to import the head morphs?" Yes, we do. We want to import the texture for the head and the body. Okay because we don't want to have Zane's white skin with Samuel Jackson's black head. It's going to look a little bit weird. So we'll just like head and body. Okay. And that's going to import in uh, our head. Again, keep in mind that uh, this is not going to import in with the uh, accessories and everything like that. It's just the head. Okay. So you can see it kind of uh, adjusted the uh, color there. So there's uh, this character in iClone and then you can, you know, uh, get rid of hair if you want. Um, actually this, in iClone, we have different types of hair. Let's go over here to uh, face, nope, not face. Accessories, hottest hairstyles. We have all these different hairstyles. My other computer, I have more, more of these. Uh, lots of other stuff you can mess around with as well. Uh, part, uh, there's CC hair here as well. Maybe give them like a faux hawk. Oh, that's the hair that we already have on there. Whoopsie doodle, anyways. Oh, he has double faux hawk here. It's giving him some long hippie hair. Okay, that's about all I wanted to kind of show you here. Um, there you go. <laughs> the, uh, the female hippie Samuel L. Jackson there. Um, but yeah, that's really uh, um, all I want to go through in this uh, webinar here. Again, with uh, in, in Crazy Talk 8, uh, the, the animation stuff is very similar um, to iClone. Uh, if you want to create your own script, you can create your own script up here. That's using your own voice or using text to speech. You can also use uh, Face Puppet right here. Uh, I showed you that earlier. And this one here is auto motion settings. And if you have any questions about that, feel free to ask uh, in the Q&A section. We're gonna get to that right now, okay? So we already have a few questions here uh, in the Q&A panel. Uh, James asks, when setting the markers, is it best to place them inside the components, uh, the lips, or are at the end outside of the component? Um, for the markers, I would say it's a better idea to, to place them outside of the component. So for example, like outside of the eyes. Now, uh, let's, 
let me give you an example here. If I if I take my uh, accessories here on my character, I get rid of his uh, his glasses there. And again, the way you get rid of the accessories, click it here and then press the trash bin up here, delete it. Uh, he doesn't really look as cool, but still pretty cool, I guess. Uh, and this necktie can probably even go a little bit further into the, there you go. You can see it's kind of popping out a little bit there so we can use the move, move that necktie to below the uh, over there. So his tie looks neater. All right, anyways, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the outline for your character. So um, if you have your character, you can go back to head fitting. Anytime you want to modify the head fitting, you can go back into head fitting here, okay? Um, the customized head and eyelash texture, um, that's fine, okay? So whenever you go back into uh, the, uh, the head settings right here, uh, it's gonna get rid of all the uh, materials that you have, okay? And the customized eyes and all that stuff. All the scars and stuff that I threw on there and the Michael Jackson face tattoo or Michael, Mike Tyson face, face tattoo. Okay, so take a look at what happens here with the eye. If I, if I make this thing larger, okay? You can see all it does is it just makes the size of the eye larger, okay? So what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna have it inside the feature like this, okay? Um, that's kinda of gonna make a little bit of a weird, you know, it's gonna kinda of have two eyes. So it's gonna use part of the original eye and part of the, the new eye that we added in there. So I mean, if we wanted to make Samuel L. Jackson with like really big, cute anime eyes, we can really do so. Let's make a chibi uh, Samuel L. Jackson. But again, you know, you do want to mean, uh, have at least a black border generally on the outside of your texture. Okay, so you can see there's no black border. So that's why, you know, you want to have that, you know, inside. We, maybe we can use the, the eyebrow or the uh, eyelid kind of part for that. There you go. So there's the anime uh, Samuel L. Jackson. And you definitely want to, you know, modify different facial features for that. Uh, let's give it a shot here. This is actually kind of fun. Making a uh, chibi Samuel L. Jackson. There we go. And it's not going to look ideal, obviously, but uh, there you go. Do something like that. And I'll just bring this out like that. I think that's better. Okay. And then uh, what else was I going to do? Oh, yes. Detailed morph. And here we have uh, full head morphs. You can use like a young head morph like this. Looks like my Siri kind of just kicked in there. Uh, heavy, thin, okay. These are just full head morphs. And this young one, you can make him you know, look a lot younger. There's Samuel L. Jackson is a teenager. And then we can go apply and uh, <laughs> bring that back in. All right, sorry, I kind of went off topic there. It's just kind of fun to customize the, the heads and the, you know, uh, but hopefully that answers your question there, James. So it really depends. Generally, you want to have the, the markers outside the components. Could have just answered that in a minute there, but. Okay, so uh, Penelope asks a good question. How, how do we change the color of the neck to blend in with the change texture on the face? Um, pretty easy. Um, so we, we did launch the, uh, <laughs> it's like this character's look. We did launch the, um, so you can see here, the, there's kind of a uh, blend uh, issue between the neck and the, and the character's chin and everything like that. So what I would suggest doing is going to textures on this one here, um, taking the skin from the body, okay, and saving that out. Well, let's call it body to the desktop. And just basically do the same thing. Um, what you'd wanna do is launch this in Photoshop. So uh, uh, open with Photoshop. And let's open uh, the other one with Photoshop as well. Um, our original synthetic. So we'll also open this in Photoshop so we can use the reference texture here. Okay, so this is the kind of the texture from the, the next was left, uh, alt and left click to use our uh, eyedropper tool there and go to the body. So on the body, you wanna go up here to where the, uh, the neck is, okay? And what you would do is you would just kind of blah, like that, <laughs> okay? Um, uh, obviously you'd want to go into more detail than this, um, but this is kind of where the neck area is. So just go to file and save that out. Okay, and then we load that back in in, in uh, Crazy Talk 8 skin body. And I think this is the one. 
Okay. So again, um, we need to adjust the chin on the, on the face a, a bit more as well. So let's do that really quick. So the face one, skin head, this needs to be brought down more. So shabam. And that should uh, get rid of most of the problem, problem area there. File, save, and we'll load in that uh, head diffuse there. There you go. Okay. So that's how you can kind of get rid of that blending issue. And obviously it's kind of messy down there with the shadows, but uh, that's ideally what you'd want to do. Ooh, kidooks. Let's move on to the next uh, question. Mitch Delmonico asks, what if you don't have icon, can you export from CT8? Uh, yeah, you can definitely export um, from CT8, but your again, your RL head, that's the file you're going to export. So, uh, uh, the file type is called RL head, okay? Dot RL head right here, okay? And that's the only type that you're going to be able to export from uh, from uh, Cartoon or a little from Crazy Talk Eight, okay? So it'll be able to import onto your iPhone head or onto your iPhone body. Um, so if you don't have iPhone, really, there's um, nothing you can do. I mean, you can export an, a 2D image uh, of the head. Um, you know, to other software, but uh, unfortunately the RL head is only compatible uh, with iClone. I mean, if you want, you can take this RL head and you can load that RL head in uh, 3D Exchange as well, uh, which is our uh, conversion software, this one right here. And from there, you can convert that into an OBJ file or an FBX file where you can do uh, more modeling. You can do more customization using programs like ZBrush or, or uh, you know, mud box or whatever you're using for, for modeling. Um, so I hope that answers that question for you, Mitch. Uh, just the RL head, but you can convert the RL head as, as part of a character, um, mind you, okay, to uh, OBJ file and then just separate it later. Um, so Daniel asks, uh, will you soon be able to export heads to Cartoon Animator 4? Uh, we're working on that right now. Um, right now, I, I'll, be, I'll be frank with you, uh, Crazy Talk 8 is not really the main focus uh, right now. Um, we are working a lot on the, on the 3D realm in terms of, of motion capture and, and uh, uh, character creator. Those have been wildly popular programs. Um, so Crazy Talk 8 is kind of taken, sitting on the back burner a little bit, um, but that is one of the priorities that we have in terms of Crazy Talk 8. It's just a matter of uh, you know, getting the resources uh, put together. We have a small, fairly small, medium-sized company um, we have a ton of engineers, but we have a ton of, ton of stuff to do. So it's just a matter of prioritizing that. Uh, so unfortunately, at this point, uh, not able to do that, unfortunately. Uh, but hopefully that'll be in the near future. I can't give you a solid answer, though. Um, and Jim asks, again, uh, is there any other programs you can use these heads in? Um, yes, again, but you, you, you would have to, uh, like an iClone here, what I would do is <laughs> this guy looks hilarious with the, with the long blonde hair. Uh, go to file and export your character. Um, oops, make sure you have the character selected. Uh, we should be able to export FBX. Um, not sure what's what's the dealio. There we go. Export FBX. Okay, so this would allow us to export to uh, you know whatever uh, software we want in FBX format. Okay, the entire thing. Um, Again, you have to have the uh, the pipeline version for that as well of, of crazy of 3D exchange. Okay, you can also uh, what was I going to do? Oh yes, uh, export to uh, to 3D exchange as well, um, and that would be uh, export to 3D exchange. Should be in here somewhere. It's been so long since I did that. Goodness sakes. <laughs> uh, create. Okay, so what you can probably do, I, 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 I'm pretty sure there's a, something in the toolbar, uh, at least from what I remember, you could, you could use that for. Uh, but if not, then you just save your character out and you bring it into 3D Exchange. So to save your character, you can just go to uh, Custom over here and uh, Character um, and just press the plus key here. And save it as Ugly Sam. And then what you would do is you would load up Ugly Sam in 3D Exchange. Uh, 
just like this, and uh, we can find that file. And just throw them into 3D Exchange. So again, keep in mind that this, this what I'm doing right now is kind of um, probably not what a lot of you will be doing because uh, it does require a 3D Exchange uh, pipeline. And so there's our character in 3D Exchange. And then I would just, you know, save it out as an OBJ, export as an OBJ right here, okay? Ugly Sam, blah, 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 blah. We'll just... Uh, our desktop here. Ooh, T. Six mesh node. Okay. All right. And then we have our ugly Sam OBJ and the ugly Sam material file, which you can load into uh, ZBrush or whatever modeling program you use. Okay. And I only have sculptures here at the at the moment here. Throw this in there real quick and see what see what it looks like. I have literally never done this, so I'm kind of uh, in. Uh, oops, I have new sculptures in ages too. Import OBJ. So this is a sculpting program, obviously. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's obviously some settings that I need to modify, but you, you get the point. Uh, that OBJ will be able to import into whatever software you're using. Um, okay, let's go to the next question here. Um, uh, Peter asks, can you please show an export import of Samuel L. Jackson from Crazy Talk 8 to the new Cartoon Animator 4? Uh, so with uh, Cartoon Animator 4, it doesn't use RL heads. Um, Cartoon Animator 4 uses its, its own uh, head type, okay? Uh, I'll show you uh, the difference here. Let's go into Cartoon Animator 4 real quick. Um, unfortunately, they're not compatible at this time. So I, I kind of talked about that a little bit earlier. I know it's disappointing for a lot of people, and it's it's, it's a wishful feature that we've been uh, you know working on for for a long time. Uh, a couple other people have the same uh, uh, same question here. I'll show you the head file in in uh, Cartoon Animator 4 really quickly, just so you kind of have a foundation. And honestly, if you have Cartoon Animator 4, you don't really even need Crazy Talk. Uh, the only thing you need it for is the 3D head, okay? Um, let's just take a character here, a random. Through the there we go. Yeah, just triple clicked in and close down to the exchange. So uh, the head file, um, if we go over here to our uh, composer mode with our character, this is where you do all the editing of your character. And in Cartoon Animator 4, uh, you can see here, uh, let's move my panel out of the way here. In the content manager, we have head, head section here. Under heads, we have G3360 heads, all right? If I right click on that, you go to find file, you find the file right here. It's a crazy talk animator G3 head file. Okay, so it's not an RL head. If I right click and go to properties, it's called a CTB head. Okay, that's the file name, the file extension. Okay, so it's not compatible, unfortunately, with the uh, with the other heads. Um, so at this point, um, yeah, sorry to disappoint you guys. I know I mean, a lot of you are you know, hoping that you can export your cartoon or crazy talk eight heads into cartoon animator eight, or cartoon animator four. Uh, not at this time, though, unfortunately. Um, but if you uh, if you guys really want to uh, get that get the motor running on that, you can go to your uh, the forum uh, forum.relusion.com. I'm not sure what this is here. Let's go to forum.relusion.com. And there's uh, wishful features uh, for each one of our products. So what up 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 up? Um, general. Wishful features down here, okay? So where it says, wishful features, craft your own dream tool. Um, go ahead and join the, uh, the the forum. There's always like some good chats going on there and just post post a topic, you know, post, uh, hey, we need some export from Crazy Talk 8 into Cartoon Animator 4. And if enough people sign the petition, we'll probably get <laughs> get, get on it. But uh, unfortunately right now it's not in the, in the priority uh, cycle, unfortunately. So 
Apologies for that. Um, okay, uh, that answers uh, Jeremy's question there as well, hopefully. Um, so Alberto asks uh, about uh, speaking mode for your uh, Crazy Talk 8 character. Um, speaking mode, pretty easy stuff. Um, to be honest, Crazy Talk 8 is super basic compared to the other software we have. Um, you want to go into like add a script for your character, create a script. I can record my own voice. Be like, hey everyone, welcome to our webinar on Crazy Talk 8. All right, you can play it back. Hey everyone, welcome to our webinar. Okay, good enough. Uh, you can go to talk mode, listen mode. Talk mode is going to have your character moving his uh, head more. Listening is if, is, is if your character is listening to what you just said, okay? Uh, lip sync is only, is only, like, no emotion, just lip sync, okay? I'm going to use talk mode here. Hey, everyone. Welcome to our webinar on... Mm-hmm. Yes. Oops, we had uh, <laughs> a couple of animations kind of blend into each other there, but you get that point. So that's kind of the talking mode there. And, uh, you know, if you want to add more, you know, emotion to that, you can go over here to uh, animations and you can go to like auto motion here. Uh, uh, scenario, for example, um, talking, there's different talking scenarios. So we can, you know, this kid talking one, for example. Hey everyone, welcome to our webinar on... Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I think it's over. Uh, it's overwriting the uh, the script that I added is overwriting the uh, the auto motion there. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of different stuff you can do. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and press F3 and go into the timeline here and take a look at what's happening. Oh yeah, so the the, the kid script is from here to here. Welcome to. It's kind of uh, overwritten by the motion clip. This angry motion clip. So we can delete that motion clip, and then we have the kid talking right here. Hey everyone, welcome to our That's webinar on auto motion. Mm -hmm. We can just get rid of this one here. Let's get rid of that whole thing there. Hey everyone, welcome to our webinar on Crazy Talk 8. And there's lots of ways you can modify this auto motion, by the way. Um, you can copy it to the motion track. And then when you uh, right click on the motion, you can select remove motion. You can remove the motion from the eye, the shoulders. You can adjust the strength here. You want to really increase it. You can do something like this. Hey everyone, welcome to our webinar on crazy. Okay, lots of fun stuff you can do with the auto motions. Um, they're just there for like really quick and simple animations. This one's denial. Oh, okay, so I accidentally deleted everything. All right, sorry about that, but you kind of get the points. All right, uh, let's continue on to the next question. Looks like we're reaching the end of our questions here. Uh, Mitch asks, are you going to stop supporting Crazy Talk Animator 3? Uh, no, nope, we have no intention to stop supporting Crazy Talk Animator 3. There's just no more features coming out with it. Um, so it's, it's all going to be Cartoon Animator 4 from this point on. Um, Mitch, so you don't have to worry about you know, anything going obsolete, but you know, I'd recommend upgrading just because Cartoon Animator 4 has lots of really cool stuff like the 360 heads and stuff. Um, I've been working on tutorials for that for a little while. Um, Jim here asks, are there any cool tricks to sync lip motions with speech? Um, yeah, uh, I'll show you like, a, I mean, not any really cool tricks per se. <laughs> I wouldn't say they're really cool, but uh, let's use, a, let's create another script here. I'll just record my own voice. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to do some really quick lip sync modification. Okay, talk mode. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to do some really. And if you want to go into uh, take a look at the the uh, clips. By the way, I'm holding the Alt key and scrolling my mouse wheel to zoom in and out of the uh, timeline here. Very useful little tip. I'm just going to actually make like here and break this clip so we get rid of all this nonsense in front of it. I'll just bring this one over here. Gonna... If you want to take a look at uh, how to modify lip syncing, go into the your voice track here. Hit twirl down your voice track, and you'll see the Visine shapes for your lips. So, so here we should have, probably have a z because he says, "Hey guys." So let's change this to a z. Uh, just double click that keyframe right there and change it to like an s or a z like that. So now he's like, "Hey guys." Okay. So you can click and drag here, and uh, again, each 
um, Visine shape, you can adjust the expressiveness. Okay, uh, level. Now, sometimes your, your auto motion will kind of blend over top of your lip sync. If you don't want that, your auto motion to blend over your lip sync, like maybe your character's smiling too much, just use this lip sync constraint over auto motion. And that will make it so that your, your auto motion is not interfering with your lip sync at all. And your character will have a neutral expression uh, with his lip sync. Um, not really much cool stuff I can show you about uh, lip syncing, to be honest. That's, that's just the basics <laughs> of lip syncing. No, nothing too complicated there. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to email me, uh, kai at reillusion.com, uh, kai at reillusion.com. I can help you out with, uh, with that stuff as well. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed my anime Sam, uh, Samuel L. Jackson <laughs> with a Mike Tyson uh, scar or Mike Tyson tattoo. Um, but yeah, so I, I think we'll just end it off there since we don't have any more questions. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone so much for attending today. Um, hopefully you learned uh, at least a couple of tips and tricks in this, uh, in this webinar here. And I'm more than happy to answer any more questions you might have uh, following the webinar, which email me. And uh, please do fill out the survey uh, for the 10% discount on the content store. Um, it's always good for us to have, uh, you know, uh, new feedback from you guys on what kind, of what kind of webinars and tutorials you want to see, what kind of features you want to see. Um, yeah, really, uh, really enjoyed having you guys along. Uh, and thanks for being here. And uh, we'll send out the, uh, the surveys uh, following this, uh, this webinar. So I'm going to bid you guys all adieu. I'll say good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. And I uh, hope to see you uh, in the near future in another webinar.